Hello friends, welcome back to a new video. Today I'll be reading to you Lampreys to Robots. In Lampreys to Robots, readers will discover how the invention of robots were inspired by the lamprey. So let's get into this book. Lamprey to Robots, Tech from Nature. Robotics can help pe people who have lost a limb. Robotic help. Have you ever seen a person who's missing an arm or a leg? Robot science helps th these people. The field researches ways to improve artificial limbs. These limbs help people move more easily. Living without a limb. People lose limbs in accidents. They could also lose limbs from a disease. Though these uh, events can be tragic, there are medical devices that can help a person who lose who loses an arm or a leg might choose to have a prosthetic limb. These devices help people lead an easier life. You can still be active and live a normal life with an artificial limb. Prosthetic limbs have changed over the years. The study of eel-like fish called lampreys have improved prosthetic arms and legs. How is this possible? Let's take a closer look. It's easier to run with a modern prosthetic limb. Ask questions. Do you know anybody who has a prosthetic arm or leg? If the person is willing to talk about it, ask questions about his or her day-to-day -day life. Compare it to how you live your life. Are there any differences? It's alive. Scientists in Ch Chicago used a lamprey to guide a robot. They removed a lamprey's nervous system, which includes a brain and spinal cord. They attached these parts to a small robot. They studied the connection between the lamprey's simple nervous system and the robot. The lamprey-powered robot named Kefira is able to move on its own. It can direct itself to move in circular patterns. Lampreys can live in both seawater and fresh water. The biomedical engineers hope to use the science behind, behind lamprey robot to make robotic limbs for patients. Their work is based on the concept of biomercy. Biomercy is a rapidly growing scientific field of research. Early artificial limbs usually did not bend and were very uncomfortable to wear. In the early 1500s, a French doctor invented hinged prosthetic limbs that attached more securely to the body. Advances in medical have allowed doctors to perform more careful amputation surgeries. This means this means amputees can have better connections to new artificial limbs. Early prosthetic legs were clunky and made out of wood and leather. Connections to the suction cups and permanent implants allow more national, natural movement. Today's artificial limbs are more advanced. Plastics and carbon fi fiber make modern prosthetics, prosthetics stronger, more flexible, and more, and more realistic. But there is room for improvement. Think about the biomedical engineers and their experiments. With the lamprey nervous system and its self-guided robot, they work, their work could make artificial limbs more lifelike. A modern artificial limb has many parts. Make a guess. What is it about lamprey that, that makes it useful for developing prosthetic devices? Write down your guesses. Read on, com read, read on and compare your guesses to the answers in the next chapter. Were you close? I'm just going to give you a moment to just discuss it with a partner or someone. And um, if you still haven't finished uh, by then, then uh, you guys could pause the video. So I'll give you a moment. Okay, I think it's enough time, and if it isn't, uh, and you haven't finished discussing with your partner, then just uh, go ahead and pause the video. Investigating nature. The lamprey is a jawless fish. It also, it, 
It is also a parasprite. A parasprite is an animal that lives on or in the body of another animal. The lamprey survive it, survives by attaching itself to an, another to an other fish and sucking their blood. Like many other paras, parasites, it, ha, it has a simple nervous system. This allows scientists to easily study and experiment with the lamprey. Lamprey depend on other fish for survival. So this is how a lamprey looks. It's pretty strange. For Kefira robot, the researchers connected sensors on the robot to the lamprey to the lamprey's brain system. Then they made impulse impulses similar to the impulses we make in our brains. From the lamprey spinal cord to direct to direct the mov movement of the robot wheels. This type of robot could be used to control all kinds of devices. Lampreys swim easily in the water. Think. Why do you think scientists study lampreys for developing prosthetic limbs? Why not other parasites? Use the internet and your library to research other types of parasites. Compare the different types. So for this, it could take a while, so I'm not gonna give you uh, time. Just, um, you, you guys could either uh, pause the video or wait till the end of the video and um, check out some websites or try to take Wikipedia mostly and just move on. The study of lampreys control, controlling a robot influences new and better prosthetics. Understanding the lamprey's special anatomy, anatomy could help scientists create robot, robotic limbs for amputees that respond to the human brain. The human brain could control an artificial limb. Look. It's not just humans that benefit prosthetic limbs. Animals do too. Ask a librarian to help you find more information about animals and prosthetic limbs. Are there, are there ways these prosthetic limbs can be improved? So uh, this is the end of the video. Uh, there, I have read Cat Claws to Thumbtacks. And I'm pretty sure that's the other one. And um, Birds to Aircraft, that's the ones I've read. Today we earned 377 points. And it took us, let's see, 8 minutes to read. I don't know why it's at 18. Oh yeah, probably because I was I read this once and then I sort of messed up the video and then I restarted. Anyways, um, please, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Remember to share this with other people. And um, maybe take up this in these books. Maybe keep a partner with you so you can discuss. Uh, and be sure to pause the video. And if you still haven't done your research, then go ahead right now and try to take a, a trusted website and search up the questions they said. And yeah, that's it for today. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.